so welcome back to more decluttering <laughs> um today i'm decluttering sorry my desk is messy i'm decluttering eyeliners and mascaras um i'm gonna have a bunch over here that are new and unopened so i'm probably gonna start with all this i'm probably gonna keep all of this honestly um superhero mascara i'm gonna keep um this is a mac zoom lash that's amazing i haven't opened that um a Too Faced better than sex and then a tartiste um lash paint i'm gonna keep because i like both of those i just got this the sephora vib sale i got two bags two of the sample bags so i'm going to test these out. I'm going to put one over here and then I'm going to put one um, in my desk to try out. I got the um, roller lash that I really like. I've got this little um, sample kit um, a man eater and then a lip lingerie. It's really pretty. Um, the Chanel La Volume de Chanel is amazing um i have a full size lights camera lashes that's really really good i'm gonna keep i'm not doing so well a kat von d um trooper liner and mini i'm gonna keep <laughs> um a mark jacobs liner i guess this is just black Eyeliner gel crayon. I guess this is just black. I'm gonna keep that and try that out. And then this is my favorite, my other favorite other than the Cat Von D um, liquid liner. I'm going to keep that. So I'm gonna keep all of this <laughs> because I like to try things out. Some of them you will see here in a moment. I'm gonna go on with liners. I probably need to get rid of some liners, just to be honest with you, because there's no need for all of this. There's really not. Um, the first one I grabbed is this white liner by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't. I don't even know why. I don't even know why I have it. And then I've got oh, I've got some liquid liners here. Um, I think they're just the two. Yeah, these are by Wet n Wild. And they are the Felt Tip Eyeliner Pro Line. These are really good. I really like these. So I have black and brown. I'm keeping those. I have this e.l.f. Liquid Eyeliner. I loved this. And then I discovered the Wet n Wild ones. So I'm going to get rid of this. I have this used and abused Rimmel pencil. Oh my gosh, I need to throw this away. It's so old. But this is a really good pencil. And I don't think they make it anymore. So, but I gotta throw it away because it's it's really old. We've got the Bobbi Brown Longwear Eye Pencil. And this is the color Black Chocolate. I really love this. I use it all the time. I've got, like I said, my two favorites, um, the Trooper Tattoo Liner and then the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip. Those are so, so good. I've got these Physician's Formula. I feel like I have another one somewhere. Do I have another one? I do. I do. I haven't any kind of inkling of where it is. I have a black one. I have a black one of this, but I don't know where it is, but I use these. These are really, really pretty. I have a warm nude eyes was the set. So I'm keeping those. I've got this 
NYX Slide On Glide On Pencil in Jewel. I don't use this. I bought this because I saw somebody use it in a tutorial and I don't use it. So away she goes. I've got let me see, a cap. I'll take the cap off the white one that I'm getting rid of and put it on this one. So I've got these wet and wild eyeliners guys these are so good and I remember I bought like a bunch of these because they were like 50 cents or something at Walgreens um I do not use this green color though so I'm gonna get rid of the green color I just don't use it um and I don't use the purple I'm being real with myself ah I just don't use the purple one so I'm getting rid of that one I do use these though. Um, I've got things around. I've got the color um, brandy wine, then chestnut, and then the nude. Calling your buff, um, and then just brown. So I do use these quite often. And then I have this Elf waterproof eyeliner pen I don't know if I've ever used this so I will put this in the try pile because I don't know if I've ever used it and then I have my beloved Urban Decay you guys these are these are amazing um, I have the color Smoke Out, which is great, and then the color Stag. I love these, and then I got this duo set um, a while back, and I'm, I'm not getting rid of any of these because they're like Zero and Demolition, and then you have, um, I think this one's a Metallic, or Black Market, and Tornado, and Black Velvet, and Smoke, and then Perversion, and then this Perversion, like really cool blue. LSD so I'm keeping those because they're like most of the really good classic ones so I'm getting rid of these I'm keeping these update I found my black physicians formula so that's gonna go in the keep pile <laughs> okay so these are all the mascaras that I've tried out kind of here and there plus some wands um, because I did do um, a wedding ish okay let's get started because I have mixed feelings on some of these things um, first of all there is the infamous um, lash paradise mascara by L'Oreal a dupe for the um, you know better than sex mascara I mean, they're pretty much the same. I bought this to try it out. I am going to keep it and use it up because I do like it. This is the Essence Essence, ugh, Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Last The Finishing Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. I don't try fiber mascaras too often. Um, and I do like this but it flakes on me a little bit you know what? I don't reach for it enough I'm gonna get rid of this I'm gonna be harder on myself with the mascaras because I have quite a few over here that I need to go through this is the covergirl peacock flare mascara I'm not gonna lie to you I bought this for the packaging it's okay this is the brush. It's okay. It's nothing outstanding. Um, so I think I think I'm gonna keep this and just use it up because it is good and it's okay. I like it. Love this. This is Holy Grail. Um, the Tardis uh, lash paint is freaking awesome. Love that. This was horrible. This is the LA Girl Big and Bold Mascara. The 
flashy mascara flash whatever it was horrible so here's the brush and it's like weird and it this has fibers in it this just this flaked off my eyes so bad the brush is really like a flat i didn't like this good thing it was really cheap this is the clinique high impact mascara um haven't really used this enough to um say anything about it so i'm gonna use use that up this is what i've been reaching for all all the time since i got it it's the smashbox super fan mascara this is freaking amazing i love this i have the it cosmetic superhero mascara this is great love that the dior um pro black mascara dior show this is this is good i love this as well i have a mark jacobs velvet noir mascara i haven't used this um i'm going to try this out this was like one of the first ever high-end mascaras I ever bought. This is from Benefit and this is the They Are All Mascara. I probably went through a couple of these full-size ones and I just have this little mini so love this. Oh my gosh. Holy grail like status. I went through a lot of these. This is the L'Oreal Waterproof, Waterproof Luminous Carbon Black Mascara. I honestly probably need to get rid of this because it's probably really, really old. Actually, I know this is really old. I'm gonna get rid of this, but I'm gonna buy another one. The Roller Lash by Benefit, really, really good. This is the Mega Slim Skinny Mascara by Wet n Wild. I like this for bottom lashes, not really good for top lashes. But I don't need a mascara just for bottom lashes. Like, I really don't. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then this is the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I really like this. This is really comparable to the Smashbox. Um, this little Smashbox super fan. So, this is really good. And then I just have my um, lash wands. So I'm getting rid of four, which isn't bad, and then I'm keeping these. Yep. Thanks for watching. Um, hit the large button if you enjoyed your clutter videos, and I'll see you guys later.